hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here here we have a road and we are taking only one meter square of this and also they have given the intensity received this means every second there are 700 joules of energy is received by this one meter square area now here they are asking for temperature now let's see how we can find it since this is a radiation process we can use radiation equation that is Q dot is equivalent to emissivity times sigma times surface area times t power 4 right here we are trying to find t so this is the part we are interested in now in order to solve this problem we need to have these variables we have to have Q dot we have to have emissivity emissivity that is provided sigma that is Stefan Boltzmann constant and surface area is this one now we have to find Q dot to find Q dot we have intensity that's given and we if you remember the intensity equation intensity is p over area p mean power over area power is same as q dot if you notice the unit of a q dot that's joules per second power for, for power is same thing so instead of writing power over area we can write i is equal to q dot over area right so here we are trying to find q dot q dot is going to be equal to intensity times area intensity is given by 700 watts per meter square and we know we are only taking one meter square of a road so one meter square is going to be the area and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 700 watts and this is the value we are going to use right here now let's rearrange this equation this is q dot is equal to epsilon no epsilon sigma a s t power 4 t power 4 is going to be equal to q dot over epsilon sigma surface area now therefore t is going to be equal to fourth root of q dot over epsilon sigma as now let's plug all the values let's get rid of this part now let's plug all the values fourth root of Q dot we found out that 700 watts 700 watts over epsilon is given 0 0.9 and sigma is Stephen Boltzmann constant that's always going to be the same value that is 5.69 times 10 to the power of 8 10 to the power of minus 8 watts per meter square Kelvin and then we have surface area that is just 1 meter square and if you solve for this one you should get 342 kelvin right and if you convert this one into degree celsius that's going to give us 69 degree celsius so that's going to be the equilibrium temperature we are going to have right here i hope it helps see you next time